the second transition workflow is migrating non-parcel fabric data to an ArcGIS Pro parcel fabric. Again, we start out with a Pro project. And again, I have a map tab showing my source data that is non-parcel fabric parcel data. In this case, I have parcels, subdivisions, political townships, sections. Again, this having the source data here is optional, but there are advantages to having multiple maps in your pro project. Going again to the catalog pane, we see our project database along with the feature data set for parcel editing. Again, you choose the name and the correct coordinate system. The next step is to create a parcel fabric. This is a pro parcel fabric. So the parameters for this tool, you choose the target feature data set and you give your parcel fabric a name. Going back to the catalog pane, the next step here is to add parcel types. So I will expand the data set right click on my parcel fabric, go to manage and add parcel type. Your parcel fabric is already input as one of the parameters. You just need to give your parcel type a name. This can be done for all of your parcel types that you want to migrate over. This can also be done from the geoprocessing pane with the Add parcel type tool. So I have added parcel types ahead, ahead of time for tax parcels, political townships, and sections. Additionally, this is where you have the opportunity to add other fields or domains to your to the layers in your parcel fabric. You can do that by right clicking on a feature class and going to the design context menu where you can then set up your domains. You can add in additional fields, subtypes, attribute rules, and contingent values. So we've done a lot of this in the catalog and geoprocessing panes. And now we will add our empty parcel fabric to a new map tab. So again, very simple, just right click on your fabric, add to a current map or a new map. So I'm gonna switch over to my map tab that has the migrated parcel fabric. Ideally you have, you have this as your empty parcel fabric, so you need to get your source data into the parcel fabric. You do that by using the append tool. You can input your data set, choose your target data set, and you set the schema type. So if your source data matches your target data as far as the schema goes, then you can choose this option. But if not, you will need to choose, use the field map to reconcile schema differences. And that is where you can set up which fields are associated with your target fields that has already been accomplished for this particular um, parcel fabric. But I also must let you know that I have performed a spatial join between the source parcel data and the source subdivision data ahead of time to get a record field or the subdivision name associated with the parcel data. That join layer was used in the append operation. If your source parcel data already has a field referencing the subdivision, or record, then please disregard that step. So we go back to our catalog pane. The next step you'll need to do is to enable parcel topology. This again is done via the manage context menu. Right click on the parcel fabric, go to the manage menu, and you have the option to enable, or in this case, disable parcel topology. So 
Parcel topology has been enabled. And the next step is to create parcel records. And we switch to geoprocessing. We have a create parcel records tool. Here's where you enter in the parcel features as the, the parameter, and then you set the record field. And my record field was what came across from my spatial join with the subdivision layer. So that subdivision name will be my record field. So this process takes quite a bit of time, uh, more than we have for this demonstration. So I have, have done that ahead of time.